Hey people, welcome back to my wildlife tours. Today I'm over in Broomfield, Colorado. Um, as you can see, the eagles have returned. Uh, the other one took off, chased off a red-tailed hog. So, anyways, I don't know if you can make this out or not. Um, let me zoom in some here. But this was their nest right right there and you can see it's for the most part gone so we've had a couple of snowstorms come through uh, the most recent one uh, I don't know about Broomfield but in Boulder we got a just over a foot so my guess is maybe it just filled up with snow and collapsed so as you can see the eels are working on a new nest here I don't know how long they've been here but uh, had to have been here quite a while so that's a lot of work done. And here it is, uh, November 14th. So that's quite a bit of work. I mean, just from my, my viewpoint, it, it's hard to tell on this uh, LCD screen, but it looks like it still needs a lot more to go. But we're still pretty early in the season. So, uh, I'm not sure if they stayed around or if they went back off into the mountains. Usually they'll come down to the front range, just what we call this front range and nest. And uh, end of the summer, stuff go into the mountains, stay into winter when the lakes and rivers are freezing. But, uh, I think it's started to get a little cooler than normal. We, uh, I don't know, we got about four or five inches of snow uh, before Halloween. Usually, my experience, we usually don't see snow until at the earliest is Halloween, but we saw snow a month ago, I believe, October 15th, somewhere around there. So, I believe uh, it's going to be kind of a little cooler season so they're coming down earlier again I I don't know if they stuck around or if they just got back so. the other one's been real busy with the hawks I don't know if that's a hawk it's back behind me flying around it's hard to get a, a beat on him because it kind of goes in, but uh, back behind these apartment buildings. I don't know. Let's see if I can wave you around here and show you what these birds cut up against. It's a really long zoom here. It's uh, 200 to 500, so, and then it's on a DX body, so it's probably close to 300 millimeters just zoomed in but these here are the railroad tracks and yes they are active in use and they're pretty close to the nest and let me tell you it gets real mo noisy I don't know a hundred yards uh, maybe a pair more I'm not too for sure but anyways that's the railroad tracks pan around here like I said this is probably going to be right up Anyway, we have these apartment buildings here. Sorry, it's kind of unbalanced. You know, it's tilted because of the way I had it set up for the mess. But, to add salt to injury, they're building a whole new set 
of apartments and housing. So we were really nervous about this last season. We know it's at least going to be three or four stories because that's the stairs. But anyway, we were nervous about this last year. A lot of lawsuits filed, arguments, complaints. Uh, later, they finally decided they would put off construction until the last remaining uh, sorry, remaining eaglet fledged. The nest did have three, but uh, two uh, was lost. We had a, uh, uh, it gets windy here. I mean, real windy. We got, a, I believe they got 95 mile an hour wind, something like that. And uh, if you remember, that was the original nest right up there on top completely exposed so it just you know blew a couple of eaglets out and that was the end of it for them uh, after that it was pretty interesting to watch the adults because anytime the wind picked up I mean 10 mile an hour or so they would form a barrier on the uh, the uh, uh, east side of the nest so uh, give you an idea what directions which the the adult bird you see there is on the east side of the old nest. So anyway, so they formed like this little wall uh, to the east side because the wind would blow from the west, and you know just in case it starts blowing the eagle it away, they'd you know it'd fly into them. I suppose pretty creative, pretty intelligent, I think. So, anyhow, so only one uh, one made it. Uh, I stopped watching while it was uh, it was really close to fledging. I'm not entirely sure if it did fledge, but uh, it was pretty close. It was doing their little where they flap their wings, jump up and down, and kind of fly from one branch to the other. I don't normally do these where I talk through this. I just kind of want to, beginning of the season, kind of talk about it and that. I want to record a lot of ambient noise too, just to kind of give an idea of the, some of the noise these birds have to deal with. Completely lost track of the other adult. No, there it is, I think. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, actually get you it's either coming into the nest or it's going out it's going after something it just went in the ground uh, over there there's yeah right somewhere near it just it's hard to see the sun's in my eyes and uh, it just went beeline straight down dove at some see and now the other one's flying in you see it there they are they're both kind of flapping their wings they are on the ground one of them's trying to take off and then look like it went back now yeah, it looks like it's struggling that might be a sign that it's got something in its talons um, then this one here is going Hopefully this turns out. It's hard to see exactly whoops, what I'm uh, shooting in because I got this. With the sun in the corner of my eye. It's just 
really playing the heck with that LCD readout there. But another bird but the adults still flying around, so I'm not entirely sure. So I'm gonna try to get you some aerial footage and then I dive bombed after something. Hopefully there's uh, prairie dogs over there. Oh, here we go. Got action on this one here. It's taking off. That one looks like it's kind of making a beeline. Wow, it's headed right over real low to that highway. Yeah. That's scary. This video off because I think I can. Oh, there it is, right there. Sorry, I thought I saw it landed over there, but there it is. That's one of them, anyway. Okay, oh, the other one's got a high. Oh, there's two hawks. I don't know if I can get this in here. I oh, know that that's not the other one. I don't even see the other one. Those are all hawks. This could get interesting here pretty soon. That's three hawks. I don't know the I think. Yeah, 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 there's all three hawks. Is oh my heck no, it's, it's a fourth hawk, I think. Yeah, yeah, or that may be a falcon. It's when it was flapping its wings. But no, yeah, see, there's three. This where I saw a fourth one. I do not know where the other the other hawk went to the the east, and then these. Well, heck no, there's a four, there's another one over there. There's one way back off. Quite a bit of them out here. Chowing down. 